4th, 2017. And currently, we are in store for some solar winds, another very large coronal hole that is facing directly towards Earth, and high levels of radiation that are encompassing the entire globe. First thing we're going to look at is this monstrous coronal hole. Now, as you can see below the date, this is a 48-hour period from January 1st, 2nd, and going into January 3rd, and we are currently in direct alignment with this large coronal hole. Now, what I'm starting to see on the left side is another coronal hole opening, and it will probably get much bigger as the next few days go on. What I did want to show you is an update for today, January 4th, for our space weather. And I'm just going to read you this, this quick beginning. And it says, entering the solar wind stream. As predicted, today Earth is feeling the first brush of solar wind stream that could envelope the entire planet for the rest of the week. Now, last night, the stream's leading edge sparked by a bright display of auroras over Scandinavia shown in the photograph below. I mean, when you look at this photograph, I mean, that doesn't even look real, but that is an actual photograph of the auroras over Scandinavia. Absolutely beautiful, but with this comes very high levels of radiation. And this radiation is, it, it's not good. Any form of radiation is, it's just not good. And we've been hit by this several times throughout the month of December 2016. And right now, the solar wind speed is 472.5 kilometers per second. And that is just, I think, a little over a million miles per hour. And this solar wind speed has hit peaks of 700 kilometers per hour, which is well over a million and a half miles per hour. So it will be buffeting the Earth and the magnetosphere in the next few days. Now, it's occurring as we speak. Now, something that I did want to show you, um, this, this model depicts the magnetosphere, but it detects the radiation coming from the solar winds. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this, and I want you to pay very close attention to the inner circle right here. This is the, this is the Earth. The white side is the daytime side facing the sun. The dotted line around the Earth is a satellite path. So we're going to go ahead and play this. And this starts on the 31st of December. But I want you to pay very, very close attention to what's going to occur right here inside of the Earth's safe zone from this radiation. And you could already see waves of the radiation coming in. And let's just go ahead and play it. It's very, very startling, very alarming to see this happening. Now, you can clearly see that these radiation levels are making their way inside of our safe zone. And within a matter of hours, it literally just takes over everything. So whenever we say these are serious situations, we mean these are serious situations. Any type of exposure to solar radiation is bad for you, especially when it's coming in mass quantities like it has been the entire month of December. And we're not out of the woods by any, by any sense of the word. We're, we're nowhere near out of the woods with what is happening to the sun. Now, no one has given any type of clear explanation on what is occurring with our star. There is something out there that is affecting the sun. Now, once again, I have my theories and I'm going to stick to them. It is my belief that the brown dwarf nemesis is affecting the sun. There is an increase in the coronal holes, and they are large, very large. Now, coronal holes are not abnormal to the sun. However, these very large encompassing coronal holes are creating damage to the earth. Now, we've been going through this the entire month of December. 
And if you go back to my videos in October and November and in the beginning of December, I warned of this interaction with the brown dwarf star Nemesis and the sun. It has been affecting the sun for some time now. And the bottom line is no one is out there giving scientific evidence of what is happening to the sun. And I've said this before also. Do you remember in this lifetime, do any of you remember in this lifetime, any of these occurrences, anything like this happening in your lifetime? I mean, we have earthquakes rattling off every minute of the day. Now, there are several super volcanoes and volcanoes that are being monitored right now for massive eruptions. So it's a very serious situation that we are in right now. And if you take a close look at things, you will see that some of this information is being censored, it's being covered up, and the public is being misled. That's not a lie. That is the truth. Now, the USGS downplays some of these earthquakes. And, and we recognize it. We see it. We are right on top of the situation. So how could you downplay a magnitude 7.2 and then list it as a 6.9? Yes, you don't want it to phase over into the, the 7 magnitude range. So the bottom line is where you get your information and how you get your information, well, that's the key. As you can see, it seems that we have another coronal hole on the left right here forming as the sun is rotating. And right now, the Earth is in direct alignment with this large coronal hole. Now, over the next four to five days, we are definitely going to see an increase in earthquake activity. There is absolutely no doubt. If we get by this coronal hole and we do not suffer a cataclysmic earthquake where you have loss of life and destruction and devastation, and God, let's hope that none of these volcanoes that are being placed under tremendous amounts of pressure right now blow their top. Especially the, the earthquake that I did a story on yesterday in Naples, Italy. There's more than 500,000 people that live around the base of that volcano. They're not going to evacuate those people. We're monitoring some information coming in right now about the volcano Mount Rainier. In the state of Washington, here in the United States, that is a deadly, deadly volcano. An Alaskan volcano in the Aleutian Islands off the coast of Alaska blew its top. It's been very active. It literally blew its island apart and formed a new one. There is volcanic activity right now in Peru in South America. So things are really starting to heat up. No pun intended. Things are really starting to heat up around the globe. And once again, if you live in any of these areas where you're prone to earthquake activity, you, you live near a volcano or you live near a shoreline or coastal area and you do have earthquakes, please keep in touch with the information. Make sure you have some type of emergency plan set up for you and your family. It would be vital to saving your life. Right now, I feel that the earth is in a very, very volatile state. And it's just going to take just the wrong move, the wrong amount of pressure, because the pressure inside of the earth is building tremendously. Scientists are slowly admitting this. They're not giving you the reason. They're just saying, okay, something's happening. Well, what is happening? Give us a cause. We can't settle for, okay, this is natural because these things are not natural, what is occurring to our planet. And like I've said, if you can go back in your lifetime and you could remember all of this happening, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email. Put your comments in the comment section under the video because in my 48 years, I've never, ever seen anything like this occurring. And something is out there, and it is affecting the sun. And what is affecting the sun is now affecting 
our planet. So, everyone, thank you for watching the Nibiru channel. Please stay tuned. We are going to have an update in a few hours pertaining to these volcanoes around the world that are now coming to life. Please stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 4th, 2017. And currently, we are in store for some solar winds, another very large coronal hole that is facing directly towards Earth, and high levels of radiation that are encompassing the entire globe. First thing we're going to look at is this monstrous coronal hole. Now, as you can see below the date, this is a 48-hour period from January 1st, 2nd, and going into January 3rd, and we are currently in direct alignment with this large coronal hole. Now, what I'm starting to see on the left side is another coronal hole opening, and it will probably get much bigger as the next few days go on. What I did want to show you is an update for today, January 4th, for our space weather. And I'm just going to read you this, this quick beginning. And it says, entering the solar wind stream. As predicted, today Earth is feeling the first brush of solar wind stream that could envelope the entire planet for the rest of the week. Now, last night, the stream's leading edge sparked by a bright display of auroras over Scandinavia shown in the photograph below. I mean, when you look at this photograph, 